All right, guys, if you're uh, pouring metals, uh, you need to learn how to do aluminum bronze. It's not hard. Just a few little tricks in there that will really help you do a good job and come up with a really good bronze pour. Yes, we are going to do another pour. As you can see, uh, this is my regulator from my uh, uh, forge when I was forging knives. And the hose uh, blew on it. I don't know what happened with that. It was in the process of taking the, uh, the hose off of the end over here. And it just, it, anyhow, it leaked there. So got a new hose and it's the old regulator and it worked the last time. So we're hoping it's gonna work this time. But what we're going to do that's different is we're going to change the ratio. I'm going to do some bronze and we're changing the ratio uh, just, to, just to see how it comes out. The last one was uh, a 9 to 1 ratio of copper to aluminum for aluminum bronze. And this ratio is going to be a little different. And we'll, we'll just see how it comes out. And uh, then I'll tell you at the end what the ratio was, if, it, <laughs> if it's a good pour. If it's not a good pour, I'm not going to tell you anything. Okay, so there's the foundry. It's all hooked up and ready to go. And uh, we should be able to fire this puppy off just shortly. And let's give her a go here. Let's pull the lid. There we go. That's better. starting point and after that warms up for just a little bit here then we'll we'll change that uh, might change the view here a little bit too okay I'll be back okay it's running still it's about 15 psi it's only been a couple of minutes here so to make sure how things are looking inside and it's getting red so that's good and uh, zoom see if I can get you in closer maybe Yeah, you can see there, that's right, there's the edge of the crucible, and that's the, the fire you're seeing is not going around it, so we're doing good. We'll be back. All right, guys, I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. So you can see she's getting hot. Uh, it's been about uh, nine minutes. I'm now at 20, about 21. Uh, percent and it's uh, looking good so far don't see any problems there's no leaks all right guys I'm gonna preheat these down here on the fire brick to start I don't know you might be able to see moisture coming out of this then we'll put it on top of the
problem here in that that chunk of copper isn't melting and the output here is doing this from the this is my gas line coming in you see it it's burning inside here clear back to here and the temperature is Right there is 293, and right here is 236, and that's where the gas comes in. And up here is 462, 430, and that's 600 degrees, right where it's white. So I'm a little leery, not sure what to do with this right now, so I'm going to stop this pour because. If you look here, that big chunk isn't trying to melt, and I don't know why that is either, so. Okay, we'll be back sometime. All right, guys, I think I've figured out what the problem is. I'm hoping. Uh, on one of the restarts, when you shut down and shut your gas off, then turn your gas back on and it fires, the uh, fire was burning back up to Burger to clear up to the uh, supply line. And so I totally shut it down and changed that the way that was. So now I, I it's a much quieter flow and the burn of the copper wasn't melting before and it appears to be melting now. So. Alright guys, probably can't hear them too well, but there's pretty liquid in there. So I'm gonna uh, Put the aluminum in now and get that to melt uh, in. Now I'm going to put the aluminum in. Okay, 
didn't feel like it was all the way to the bottom. But uh, I don't know when that hot. But I was up to 27 psi to try to get it there, and I don't think I should have had to go that high. But you can see there, the crucible's still hot. But I don't know if I can shoot down in there or not from here. I'm on a tripod, so. You can see where I went up on the edge. You can see the pieces in there. Yeah, so that's not good. Because the little skull didn't make it that time either. If you look in here, that's what you're looking at in the bottom of the, the foundry is that's fire brick that the crucible sits on. And she's cherry red also, so. So okay, I'll be back. Oh, you can see, dang, I wish that skull would have come out, huh? This almost looks like gold. Uh, the bar didn't totally pour either, it doesn't look like. But you can see the color here, and there, and there it looks like, uh, more like gold than, uh, than bronze. But, uh, Let's see what we can do. That's a horrible problem, man. I've got more problems with that trying to pour it. Of course, this was a problem to start with, and I don't know exactly what the problem is here, but we'll figure it out. Let's see how he looks. Now this is aluminum bronze, and what this was that was different, it wasn't a 9 to 1 ratio. I had, uh, let me think, 15 ounces, 15 ounces of copper, and one ounce of aluminum, and it makes a beautiful color. Anyhow. I'll be back when this cools off. Alright guys, we're going to give this brass bronze, I'm sorry, it's not brass, it's brown. We're going to give it a, a little bath. Oops, cool off. That wasn't much. This might be more. Oh, yeah, that was good. I got some here on the floor. I probably can't pick up made a heck of a difference in the color. Oh, the water's nice and warm. That looks really <laughs> like gold. I wish that would have come out. That would have been nice. But this is an okay pour. If I would have had the rest of the uh, the bronze, it would have been really good. Let me back out of this a little bit. So, that's not bad. Has a nice groove down the middle, all kind of rough. And the bottom's kind of different. So, what usually happens when you change that ratio, if the ratio goes in the wrong direction, you can hit it and it'll shatter like glass. I, I don't think this one's that way, but I'm, I'm going to hit it with a hammer just to see. Alright, be back. Hey guys, I didn't wire wheel it, but I just threw it on the scale here. It's 13.4 for that, and this little, what's left of a skull isn't much. It might be, this is 13.4 ounces, and he's going to be 1.6 ounces. So, that's not bad. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna put it on the wire wheel. Be back. Well, guys, uh, I think I figured out what that one problem was with the foundry. Is uh, when you shut it down and you restart, and it uh, fires in the tube instead of in the the foundry itself. So I've got a solution for that. So uh, anyhow, what we got here is 13.4 ounces of aluminum bronze, a really good aluminum bronze, it's beautiful stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, even with the troubles we had, but uh, you know, when you do this you're going to have little problems once in a while. So, thank you so much for watching.
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Give it a really good comment. Come back again. Thank you so much for watching these. I really appreciate it.